Good to see you again. A warm greeting kicking off the two-hour virtual diplomatic meeting between President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Russian state television and this White House photo giving the world a brief look inside the high-stakes summit. President Biden in the Situation Room with high-ranking administration officials voicing deep concerns over Russia building up military forces around Ukraine. President Biden was direct and straightforward with President Putin, as he always is. He reiterated America's support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Russia has denied all claims that it plans to launch a full-scale military invasion of Ukraine. But those words ringing hollow after it seized Crimea from Ukraine in 2014. In recent weeks, Russia has been menacing its Eastern European neighbor, amassing tens of thousands of Russian troops and military equipment along the Ukrainian border. President Biden telling Putin in that virtual meeting to de-escalate the troops buildup and return to diplomacy. He told President Putin directly that if Russia further invades Ukraine, the United States and our European allies would respond with strong economic measures. The two-hour Biden-Putin summit ending with no concrete agreement. But ahead of the meeting, Putin demanding Biden guarantee that the NATO military alliance won't expand further into Eastern Europe or accept Ukraine as a member. The Biden administration has not ruled out sending U.S. forces to the region if Russia invades Ukraine. After his call with Putin, the White House says the president is briefing European allies to figure out a coordinated and comprehensive response. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.